And welcome back, guys! We're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC. And in this video, we're going to go over and give Soundbird to read over by the space shuttle launch. We're going to do this ending. And then I get to go back all the way back to the device where the thing's being released from that uh, bunker device. And then I get to betray Soundbird. Which Soundbird can be quite scary when you betray her. And it's a long ending for that process. But, hey, we're getting the Cyberpunk 2077 series done. So, hey, it sat on the back burner long enough. It's finally getting done, and that's what matters. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it. Damn sorry, Song. I am. But you ticked me first. What? Songbird. Still want her? Huh. Turning your back on her now. Okay. Name your price. I'm all ears. Want just one thing. To survive. Live on. Just one dose. One instance of the cure exists. Song decided to keep it, but left me with nothing. I see. So Songbird for me, and one dose for you. Need the cure and the rippers who know how to use it. Mention contacts in Europe, personal ones. In Europe, Pat Langley too. And USA specialists at top of the game. They'll pull the data for you, then operate. We have a deal? Deal. Take her. But don't fucking let me die. Launch pad's in sight. Almost there. I know. I'm waiting. Wakey, wakey. End of the line. Come on, time to go. about her, damn it. Turned out to be a straight con. One not worth dying for. Betrayed Myers? You? Then came my turn. She was my friend once. Who she is today, I don't know. And I won't be the one to judge her. Um... Taking you home, so Taking you home. Area secure for landing. No, we will not do that. We grab the girl and go. Hmm. Thought about how you're gonna spend your 30 pieces of silver? I'll be in touch. Don't keep me waiting. Take damn good care of Song. You owe her that. And you do well to forget her. And all of this, Tag. Found out 
Was just thinking to myself. Were you now? Dunno, I mean, fuck. Now I kind of feel sorry for the chick. Not thinking about her. Thinking about yourself. If you're in your end. Healthy egotism, I'd call it. No. Just wanted to say that woman had the shittiest fucking luck in life. Shitty luck's what I ran into at Compeki Plaza. Wanted to fly high. Too close to the sun. Both of you. Yet, as an ancient Chinese proverb says, ain't no jumping over your own ass cheeks. My surgery. And in things up for me? Not quite. Not yet. The process is complicated. But my finger's on the pulse. I'm on my way out of Night City. I'd like to meet up, face to face. True to station out South Caliway. Reed? Okay. Nick of time. Minutes on, you'd have found my tracks, that's it. In a hurry to get out of Dodge? Should have warned me. We might have just missed each other. Maybe I was hoping for that. 
I'm needed in D.C., or so I'm told. Long-ass way to drive, June. Well, trains just rub me wrong. Besides which, I need time to think things through. Lots of things, lots of time. Open road for the quintessential introvert. Solve some problems on your own. Not all of them. I did call you. Drag you out here. Okay, Reed, what's on your mind? What you need from me? I can't sleep. I'm trying to break things down. Keep asking myself. And... I don't know, but maybe you do. Show me. Up there in Space Force One. She raised you on the hollow, not me. Why? Song didn't trust you. Knew you'd prove Myers' is loyal hound in the end. Was ordered to hunt her, but I helped her instead. Want proof of loyalty? No better proof than that. Banished from her life for seven years. Left her to her own devices. Contact would have been unwise, so impossible. I played the role I had to. Song knew the truth, though. Knew full well you were no traitor. Well, as I saw it, I was protecting her. Know what your problem is? You find it damn hard to just let go. Open to some advice. Stop torturing yourself with shit you can't affect, let alone control. Hmm. Time for me to fly. And honesty much appreciated, V. You deserved it, Saul. Wait contact. I'll ring you when the surgeons are ready. Feel sorry for it? You? Dunno, maybe. Guy's bankrupt. All out of hope. Gonna hang himself. You'll see. Had seven years to do that and didn't. He's got a chance to turn his life around now. Shum lost everything. Literally. Just hasn't realized it. Yet. His president proved herself a war criminal. His friend flipped him a fucking club-sized bird. His ideals, bottom of the cesspit, choke it on shit. He'll hang himself. Surgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. An FIA AD can pick you up, stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by. Yes,
Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? clear as the summer sky already. You think they'd suck you out of one head, drop you in another? Well, thought I'd get packed and shelved. And in the best of all possible worlds, that you'd help me hop on the net. Not that they'd excise me like some fucking tumor. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. <laughs> Choice is clear, Johnny. Raisin Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AB's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. We're gonna argue about this again. Can we please not? Got my pride, V. Not about to beg for my life.
James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. Great. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up. On assignment. Not to worry. You're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. I want to bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? did once do well to remember that if you ever toss back in again sure I'll handle it slipped up occasionally but learned a buttload over the last few weeks interesting cuz I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit congrats can feel proud of what you've become. If it was your call, wouldn't think twice about having me killed. How the fuck would you know? Never bothered trying to understand who I am, what I'm about. I understand you well enough. You're a fucking narcissist. Look who's talking. Go ahead, pin the blame on me. Keep that conscience clean and sparkly. Spent your whole life living on a whim, looking out for your ass and your ass alone. Got no right to lecture me, Silverhand. You want me to act like this? Us was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. You deserve it. Going out like this. How the fuck so? Enlighten me. For starters, you're a narcissist and a sociopath. Only way you can live with yourself is by believing you never do anything wrong. Pinning the blame for your mistakes on others. You know the worst part, though? Nah, but guessing you do. Actually, could have been. Fuck the system, gung-ho rebel king you so like to think you were. But you self-destructed. See, I didn't kill you. Nor did Arasaka. Your sheer fucking arrogance did, Johnny. Always were you a worst enemy. You, your hubris. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. You done? That sums it up. 
Yeah. Said my piece. Made mistakes. I admit it. We all do. But if you think I wanted to be a hero, then you don't know jack shit about me. gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. But now I think I think I gotta stay. Take care, babe. If there's anything I can do. And I mean anything. All you gotta do is holler. You weren't dreaming, babe. Those were memories. Voices? You didn't hear anything but you just now. Afterlife. See you there. Eyes, they're opening. I think she sees me now. B, can you hear me? I think I can hear. Good. About time. I was told you got a new job. New duties. Lots of them. Busy bear. No time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right. That. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah. I felt I owed you this. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. You're in a big-ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. That it? A good ripper will patch it quick and easy. Not this time. Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. Fuck. My whole life. Down the shitter. It's rough, I know. It'll take, uh, it'll take getting used to. But it... Gets better. Trust me. Two years and zap nerves that all your best docs can manage. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. Need some hair. Shelly, 
can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. <laughs> can hardly believe it. Why, why didn't they use nanobots? New matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants had been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here. And see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Don't know, someday maybe. Need to think. But now. Going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death, just a waste away here. Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed? This story, we do the right thing. Could we have done better? I don't know, V. And I won't try answering. Just plain afraid. No fucking way. Hey, Jude. V, where you been to? <sighs> In U.S. clinic. Had surgery. That's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of that time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. 
dealing with some drawbacks. I, I'll uh, never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but I have no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. I hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Thought I could drop by, see you. We'd grab a pizza, talk. You know, a lot's changed. Prem. Fresh in sea gossip. <laughs> Can't wait to hear it. V, I'm in Pittsburgh. And I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer. But now, really can't help you. That's not... Wasn't expecting that. Two years, V. I was lonely, lost in my head. First Evelyn. Then you... No way I would have made it alone. You know, we could have made it. Sure. Maybe. But you were dying, and you up and disappeared. What was I supposed to do? But I'm good now, V. Please, don't take that away. Don't have much of a choice, do I? Goodbye, V. And I'm sorry. No damn way. River, it's me. Me who? Well, I've B, obviously. Is it obvious? How do I know I'm not speaking to Silverhand? Stop fussing around. V I knew wouldn't have waited two years to return a call. What'd you expect to hear after all this time? River, I was in a coma. They just woke me up. Oh, shit, V. I... Sorry. Here I am, being a fucking asshole to you. Nah, uh, it's all right. Be pissed if I were you, too. V, it's not just about you. Problems with me, too. What's going on? I needed money for Randy's rehab. So I did a deal with trauma. Sold them a pile of police secrets. Dirt on whoever they wanted. Fuck, I'm so sorry. Listen, I'll come visit you. You'll tell me everything. I'd rather you didn't. You be serious. I'm not the man you used to know. You'd do better just forgetting about me. Well, if that's what you want. It's not. But I just can't. Goodbye, River. Bye, V. Thanks for being a good presence in my life for a time. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pan Am, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. It was a lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Hope it's temporary, a waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. 
So, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all. But not on the greatest terms. It'd just be great right now. Really great. If I could see you. You... Find a moment. Ring me back. Yeah? See you... soon. Someone grinding your gears again? Holy fuck. V? Or is it Johnny? V. V, it's me. <laughs> the one and only. Fuck me! I can't believe it. <laughs> Goddamn cream, you're alive, Joe! Kinda figured you might be happy. How's things, Gary? Hacienda, you are still standing? Who cares about a house? Someplace way prima right now. Sitting on the Crystal Palace as we speak. Played a gig yesterday, had this beautiful fucking view of Europe. Shit. V, wish you were here. Yeah, I'm not really in a partying mood right now. Okay, Spill. Thumbs up. Well, just woke up from a two-year coma. Gee, shit. Can you not, Joe? Come on, I'm on a call. Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Did you uh, hear yeah. what I... Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah. Uh, got surgery. That's why I'm alive, but... Didn't work out. Not completely. Fuck. Damn, I'm sorry. It sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe, or, um... Need a friend, Care. Really rather not be alone right now. What the now. hell did I say, Yuki? Let him fucking tune! I don't need to hold their hand, as long as it's all harmony. Kiri? V. Ah, you know I'd love to help. I really would, but I, I just can't swing it. Playing Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. What do you think? Can I see you again? She, of course you will. Listen, as soon as I'm back, come on over. We'll go wherever you want. Give me a couple of months. Or, okay, uh, four, four tops. Deal? Sure. Deal. Yeah, but uh, listen, uh, V. In the middle of something, kind of. I gotta go. They're calling me back on stage. But, uh, yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? The one and only. <sighs> Unbelievable. But how are you... Why? So, this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery cure using the runner's tech in exchange and it worked but not without complications a two-year coma for one god damn it that's a chunk of life there <laughs> yep i mean they saved me new lease on life but chrome's a no-go for me now 
even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot? Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Did you happen to hear my question? I asked if you find the liquor I procured for your friend suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. I could love it. Uh, sorry. Zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. Night City can indeed overwhelm the occasional newcomer. Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. My deepest apologies. We've only met once before. Hence my hasty conclusion that you're not a native. Indeed, Night City has since changed quite significantly. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu yep, has stepped off, down as CEO. As you wish. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing whack a corp. Hit one. Three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No. To myself. It doesn't matter.
Thank you for choosing this Delamain service. Going? I shall await. One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel, but that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Hey, girl, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network wow. Clinic. How may I help you? Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic. So good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on. It'll make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. But hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah, good times. Things changed, no denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right, come on, hop in the chair. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? I lost, Vic. Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment, so what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be her again. You know what I mean. What are you trying to say exactly? The Zeta Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? That was pressure. Some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. And that's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here, and no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. Was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, I should have feared the passing of a 
all the things I knew. Can't imagine how Johnny felt. <laughs> Waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. seen anything like this your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals maybe reinstall the neural port firmware no no that it maybe switch to binary signaling that's a risk of shock and life-threatening kind you could do something Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. See, Vic? Told you. No going back. I'm limited. Fuck. You're a corpo ripper. You make it sound like you've got nothing to look forward to. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's my... <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. Well, I was on my way out, so... Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look for Tyler's pressing problem here. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corporal rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltzed out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Piss off or your brains fry. To a crisp. Uh, I don't know about this. Go on. Hack away. Give it your best shot. Nothing? Thought as much. Booyah! What happened to you? 
Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Honestly... I feel fucking hopeless. Just got thrashed by two lame-ass thugs. But why didn't you defend yourself? Couldn't. I... <sighs> Long story. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. <laughs> Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Mate, <laughs> your bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Man, of all people, never thought I'd see you leaving Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My Fave Herbal store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. <sighs> Sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you. I do. You have helped. By staying alive. <laughs> you know what, Missy? Thanks. Likewise, V. To know what comes next, Misty. What to do? Nothing makes sense anymore. That was me yesterday. Had no hope anything good would ever happen to me again. But it did? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. <laughs> know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... Dunno, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Gonna stay in and see. Do what I do best. Start over. No idea what's gonna happen, but I refuse to be beat. You really are unbreakable, V. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it.
I hope so. Oh, V. You still have that pendant I gave you? I... Uh, must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. V. So, you went and beat... Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next ending where we will be betraying Soundberg intentionally make sure to like button make sure to subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video